Hello my beloved friends. So I welcome you in the love and light of the one infinite creator. And you know I today have channeled the um, Metatron Magnetic Consciousness. Okay. Now those of you you know who do not know who is Metatron. Metatron is an angel just like Kryon. And many of you know Kryon a uh, magnetic service. Right. Kryon is also a magnetic service. Metatron is also a magnetic service. Now, I do not know how they are related, but I channeled uh, Metatron about the 8th of August, which is also known as the Lion's Gate Portal, which is uh, coming in a few days, like in, a four, in four days, it will be here. And, you know, like this, uh, this Lion's Gate Portal, like, you know, we know that it's very important, okay? But why is it important? In today's session, uh, Metatron will reveal that. And Metatron, you know, like uh, in this session, you know, has uh, said, uh, has has told me I listened to the session and has told me that you know there was one session which I I had conducted in the past uh, with the Pleiadians uh, with regards to something known as the battle of the law of one now I need to search my archives okay because uh, some of the videos you know I have not put out some of the you know sessions you know I have not shared because uh, they were like some personal information and some of them were like really complicated so I have to search my archives and I don't know if they are on my Patreon also, okay? But I will have to search it, okay? Metatron has stated, has referred to that session, okay? And I will upload, I will upload that session in the next, uh, next uh, video, maybe, okay? And um, in today's session, Metatron, you know, talks about the significance of the 88, okay? And also, you know, Metatron has said in today's session uh, about a beautiful exercise which will help each of you and each uh, of us. Who desire to stay in the present moment and who desire to reach higher levels to achieve that and the exercise is really brilliant I tried it it is like magnificent okay you will feel this uh, feeling of bliss you know this inner peace this feeling which is undescribable you will feel it okay I tried it and it's so beautiful uh, but the method is described in the later uh, in the later part of this channeling session uh, and I must admit you know this session was a bit longer uh, and uh, yeah my voice is also cracking you know because I just like finished the session uh, this session was intensely mind-blowing okay uh, anyways you know here is the session after that I will uh, explain to you what I understand I am Metatron, the Magnetic Consciousness, and I am here, connected with you, beloved, in the divine love and light of the divine love element. Before I start to share my thoughts and insights via this channel, I would like to warn each of you listening to my message to only accept those of my thoughts which resonate with your seraphic inner heart and leave the message behind that does not resonate. I am connected to you. Today, this channel has requested to understand about the so-called Celestial Lion's Gate Portal, in which the Sirius star, also known as the Leo Sun or the Second Sun by many of your people, is aligning with your Earth planets along with coinciding with the Orion constellation aligning perfectly with the pyramids of Giza, creating a trinity of alignments which open the Lion's Gate portal. This channel may refer to one of the previous sessions in which the so-called Pleiadians had given information about the Battle of Law of One and the Giza Pyramid and how it was used during this date 
in the historical time space period of 88 the events of which had occurred during this same date known as the lion's gate portal at that historical time space period also what is happening on your planet is that there are many levels of reality that are currently existing each level of reality allowing a different experience for the various universal light grid programmers divine love elements based upon the level of consciousness this opening of lion's gate portal will allow many universal light grid programmers divine love elements to reach the so-called state akin to grid programmer known as enlightenment or bliss as known by many of your people however the choice remains upon each universal light grid programmers divine love element since the vibration test of the planet is underway the positive forces along with us and the council of planets and the other guides who are the protectors of the earth planet are constantly broadcasting divine love light energies in order to share divine love and light energies furthermore many a times universal light grid programmers divine love elements will be divided into two categories on your planet the ones who will meet at the conjugation of the 8th of august 2021 also known as the lion's gate portal and receive the divine love light energies in two ways one type of universal light grid programmers divine love element who has chosen the path of service to others and has chosen the path of awakening shall receive this internal realization and a deeper sense of divine awakening which may be considered different from that of the surface level information which is commonly floating around in your planetary sphere this deeper level of divine awakening will touch many universal light grid programmers divine love elements souls and they will awaken internally these entities will then begin to form and touch the reality that is unshakable and unchanging and then there will be other types of universal light grid programmers divine love elements who will with their own free will miss this opportunity of raising their level of consciousness to the deepest level possible for during this time period the divine energies are going to be intensely high and the universal light grid programmers divine love elements who choose the light and the positive pathway shall even traverse into the higher sub levels of the so-called fourth density consciousness by this channel and many will also penetrate into the fifth density consciousness reaching upward to become connected with the divine grid programmer furthermore during this time there will be a choice given to each universal light grid programmers divine love element and the other type of 
universal, light grid programmers, divine love element. Who will be receiving these energies are those types of universal, light grid programmers, divine love element. Who shall not, with their own free will, be aware of these energies and they will choose not to receive. These enlightening divine energies, in essence, these beings will still be focused on the transient things such as thoughts, images and the outside world of material possessions in the planetary sphere that will and has given rise to suffering on your planetary level. Because many universal light grid programmers, divine love elements, do not yet understand that the clinging to the outside world and the clinging to the transient things have given rise to a lot of psychological suffering as well as unwanted suffering that prevents many universal light grid programmers divine love elements from reaching their highest divine potential there are many universal light grid programmers divine love elements on your planetary sphere Currently, whose vibration level, if activated, can reach up to the fifth density consciousness. In this single life cycle, also universal light grid programmers, divine love elements must realize that the choice that they will make in the coming days will be a choice that will go on to the future and it will affect the upcoming years also. Since the 8th of August is a special day wherein many a times in the past interstellar crafts from the Coalition of Divine Grid Programmers have entered the solar system every year. They enter the solar system of your planetary sphere and they observe and scan upon the energies of your planet. Furthermore, these spacecrafts that are sent by the coalition of divine grid programmers are highly advanced and hence they are camouflaged to the normal eyesight. Only advanced devices may be able to get a hint of these spacecrafts observing your planetary level of consciousness. As most of your planet is composed of water, these spacecraft sent by the coalition of divine grid programmers will only be assessing the vibration level of those beings who live on the land areas of your planetary sphere. Since they are the most important for Mother Earth's vibration, each universal light grid programmer's divine love element will have three choices presented to it. On the 8th, on this Lion's Gate portal, that shall peak on the 12th of August. The three choices will be either beings will choose to be of service to the divine love element, which is a different type of service and a higher level of service compared to that of service to others. This type of service, if chosen, will lead to many universal light grid programmers, divine love elements to awaken but also to be of service to the divine grid programmer by accessing the divine love element. Energies will flow through them and they will allow the divine grid programmers energy to create everything in their life and affect the planetary consciousness to a drastic level. 
Furthermore, the second choice will be that of many universal light grid programmers, divine love elements, who will be given the choice which is already present on your planetary sphere, that of the choice of either serving others or serving the self. And many universal light grid programmers, divine love element, have misunderstood this aspect because this choice is simple. For example, whenever you are out on the so-called streets of your planet and you meet another person who requires help, there will be two types of responses, one who will help that another individual and the other who will ignore. This is the way in which this type of test will be presented to each universal light grid programmer's divine love element. And the third choice will be either universal light grid programmer's divine love element will forgive others or will not forgive them. The choices are simple, but the choices that will be made during this period will affect the coming year as well. And these three choices will be presented to each universal light grid programmer's divine love element. And many of the, this will occur suddenly, whether they realize it or not during this time period. And if they are vigilant, they will receive these so-called upgrades of their internal senses and awakening consciousness, which will allow universal light grid programmers, divine love elements to reach into higher levels of divine consciousness. Therefore, Beloveds, let me tell you one short story in order to inspire those who shall seek inspiration through my message. There was a certain universal light grade programmer's divine love element on your earth planet who had based its happiness upon an aspect known as the lover in your language sequence. And one day, suddenly, this other individual, the lover, informed this universal light grid programmer's divine love element that it would no longer want to keep the so-called relationship. This caused the universal light grid programmer's divine love element and its whole life and happiness as it depended on the lover to be crushed and this entity felt enormous amounts of suffering. Thereby, this universal light grid programmer's divine love element realized that its happiness was based on the exterior event, which was transient. Hence, it decided from that moment to focus on non-transient substances such as breathing. Ask yourself this question, has your breath ever changed in your life? It may have changed sometimes. However, the change is only in the volume of breath. The basic breath remains the same. In a similar manner, this entity, who realized that it had focused on non-transient things, from that moment forward started to focus on the breath, and it became peaceful and connected with the Divine Source. However, since today is a special day, and since many universal light grid programmers, divine love elements may need to prepare for the period of awakening, we are going to share with you one method that will help many 
universal light grid programmers divine love elements on your planets to awaken easily to the truth within and realize the deeper aspect of their own interconnection with the divine a great programmer the process is simple to focus on the sensation of your tongue touching your teeth since many universal light grid programmers divine love elements will have 32 teeth now each universal light grid programmers divine love element must internally touch each teeth and feel the sensation of the different sensations since each teeth will have a different sensation and stay with the sensation until you reach to the end of the upper row as well as the lower row this exercise can further be conducted even in situations which do not require meditation exercise and works on your planetary sphere because of the intermingling of the non-feeling aspect that is the teeth which normally do not have sensory feeling aspect however your tongue is highly sensitive and the collision of the two will create this inner sense which will allow you to stay present and connected to the now moment which is the gateway to divine intelligence of the divine grid programmer and to the divine love element this will assist each of you those who desire to reach higher distortions of consciousness and receive these upgrades therefore i am metatron magnetic consciousness thank you so much so my friends you know after watching the session you know i hope you learned uh, many things you know uh, about the lionsgate portal and how we can prepare okay in the lionsgate portal now as far as i understood from this session uh, metatron has stated that you know uh, we have to we will each each being has to make three choices in this period okay and suddenly uh, you know the choices will uh, appear suddenly okay uh, they will not appear like you know with a warning they will appear suddenly and you will have this opportunity or you will meet a situation where we will have to make the choice of choosing uh, you know service to others or service to self okay and the other one was uh, whether entities you know uh, they want to be of service to the one uh, one creator uh, they also uh, have to make the choice in this period because if they choose to be of service to the one creator in this period you know they can uh, this will last for one year i believe okay this will last the choice that we make today will last until the next year and also one more fascinating thing the metatron has stated is that the uh, you know the crafts uh, from the uh, what do you say from the uh, i believe you know it's the confederation of planets a spider came okay it's no problem uh, confederation of planets you know uh, are sending some uh, spacecrafts to earth in order to uh, check our vibration level uh, internally from the 8th to the 12th okay now this period will peak uh, at the 8th and it will end at the 12th okay 12th of august so you know they are sending crafts i believe you know they are sending ufos to our planet to uh, you know like check the vibration uh, level uh, of different areas uh, you know in a in a first person perspective view or you know maybe personally they want to like see okay if this is really happening and you know also uh, uh, you know metatron has stated about you know uh, something known as the law of one the battle of law of one uh, i will search my archives and then you know i will upload a video uh, if i find it okay uh, of that channeling session and i believe you know it's very important uh, that I release it uh, during this period of the 8th because it occurred in our historical past in the same date okay furthermore uh, you know uh, in today's session you know Metatron also talks about uh, you know the three choices we have to make uh, one is to be of either service to the creator uh, and the second this is the highest uh, highest service Metatron said I need to further query about this in future sessions and then the other thing uh, Metatron I remember 
uh, said is about service to others and service to self this is this we already know okay so those of you who watch my channel and uh, you know uh, who are aware of spirituality you know you know about this this is the game we are playing to choose service to others and service to self it's very simple you know and the other thing is forgiveness now many people many people will uh, not forgive other beings many will forgive and this is the choice which will have to be made in this period and the choice we will make in uh, in this period will determine our level of consciousness for the one year so this is like huge right it's crazy uh, this is what metatron said and also uh, one more thing i remember metatron said was about uh, you know the um, the vibration test and the other thing was about how to stay present now this method i tried it for one or two times okay it is like so you'll feel so peaceful what metatron said in that story is that most people uh, we focus on transient things we focus our attention on things that are fleeting okay like we focus our attention on you know like our uh, life situation uh, our you know job uh, you know like uh, someone else a lover uh, in the story uh, that person focused attention on lover and the lover changed the mind and all of its happiness was gone so you know we make the mistake of you know basing our happiness on external events on external things which are transient which change uh, in time right everything changes even the earth ch is changing right so metatron is saying to focus our attention on a non transient or a non changing thing such as our breathing and he has given a beautiful exercise which is to focus uh, your you need to take your tongue and then you need to like you know feel each teeth okay because normally we are not able to feel each single teeth ask yourself this are you able to feel every single teeth right now no we cannot feel this unless you touch it with your tongue so it's very simple just touch each teeth and feel how it feels right then you go from here to here and then you go up and then you reach here and then you do it you know uh, as much as possible this can be done anytime right feels what can i say you know it's undescribable actually uh, this feeling is I, I believe you know this is what it feels like to be enlightened i believe this is what it feels like okay and uh, i hope you will try this uh, exercise and i hope it will help you a lot and thank you so much for all of you for watching the videos channeling sessions and also supporting me on patreon uh, until we meet again Stay tuned for the next session. Bye.